Alright, this is my genetic striped tiger. He uh, just came out of shed. I think he's looking pretty amazing. Those blues are just incredible. Got him out here in the natural sun. Show you guys his real true colors. I just left him in his cage so he doesn't like crawl away. As you can see, he's getting really big. It's from Gavin Bow at In Your Face Exotics. I really think he makes some of the best genetic stripes on the market. Doesn't get much better than that. I think he just found freedom. Those blues and silvers are just out of this world. I love his back pattern. I love everything about this guy. Plan on making some of the, through selective breeding, some of the nicest genetic stripes and genetic stripe tigers out there. Uh, I'm a little biased, but I feel like I got two of the best in the hobby. Not many people have genetic striped tigers. <clears throat> uh, he's almost a year old. Actually, he may be a year old. You can still see how small he is versus when the mainland stuff hits. I mean, he's still about four. Yeah, he's about four, four and a half feet. Um, these tubs are about three. He goes past it so they're about a foot wide um, staying very slender I am get them in a rat a week not really hitting them too hard I'm just not sure if my female will be ready until next season um, and if she isn't then I really don't have anything to throw him at um, the whole double recessive gene it's it's hard to work with if you don't have a bunch of females laying around that are breedable. And really, the only thing I could throw them at would be my platinum, make platinum tigers, and throw it hit at the female. But I'd rather make a big, huge clutch of pure genetic stripes. I'm surprised he hasn't escaped sooner. Alright, I thought I'd just show him off with his new skin. He actually shot out last night. Let him get some fresh air. So. Alright, see you later.